What is going on everyone? It's John from 16 Views and today I'm going to talk about a fairly easy way in which you can transfer your files from iPhone to Windows and then Windows to iPhone. Everyone has been there trying to move files from your iPhone to your PC or vice versa and when you hook up your iPhone to your Windows computer all your pictures show up and half the time they're not even in the order that they were in your camera roll and it sucks like it's so annoying and like you just can't find pictures and sometimes you know you're 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 clicking through and then you misclick and then you lose all the photos that you're selected and it's just like ah! it's so annoying this process granted isn't as easy as just having a mac computer and just airdropping all your files god i wish Windows had something like that, that would be absolutely amazing. But there's a feature in this way that actually makes it fairly close. So in this process, you're going to need a computer, of course. I'm using um, my Yoga 730. Um, and on your computer, you're going to have to have iTunes installed, which I'm assuming everyone probably has on your, on your iPhone. You're going to need the app VLC. So let's get started. So the first step is just going into your camera roll and selecting the pictures or videos that you want to transfer over. So I'm just going to transfer some of these um, files that I have in my Visco album, some of my picture editing. Shameless plug of the day. Um, link in bio, my photography website. It's kind of cool. I would urge you to check it out. So we're going to select these, let's say, 11 photos. And then you're going to want to go into the share icon in the bottom left, go down, and then do save to files. And then you can see you have all these different apps that in which you can save files to. But you're going to click on the one that says VLC as the app you hopefully downloaded. So just do save. And there, first step is all done. Then, what you're gonna do is get your PC and then hook your phone up to it. So I have a USB-C to lightning cable. So I'm going to plug this into the computer, plug this into my phone. So I have iTunes open on my computer. You're gonna wanna go up here to the little phone icon and that'll show that like, oh, your phone's connected and then go to file sharing, and then scroll down until you see VLC. There we go. Let's just scroll up. All these image files, these are all the files, all the, the Visco files. So then I can just choose one, or I can control A and select all of them. And then I go down to save, and then it'll open the files application, and then you just click wherever you want them to go. I'm going to say pictures, select folder, and then it's just going to copy all of the files right into there. Let's say, though, that you want to, say, take a file from your PC and transfer it to your iPhone. Well, it's basically the exact same thing. You're going to go into where we just were, and then go down again to VLC, and then instead of doing save, we're going to go to add file. And then, uh, let's see, I'm going to go to here, and then I'm going to add this nice DQ image that I have. Open, and boom, it's transferred. Then, on iPhone, you're just going to go to your files app, open VLC, and then you should go through, and there it is, right there, the file that I transferred. And then you just go into the share button and save image. And then it'll go to your camera roll. It's that simple. It's really quite easy. There is a second way, though, that you can do it, which is wirelessly that I'll show you guys. But I find that this way is a little finicky and doesn't always work. But I'll show you anyway. You're just going to go through the same process I just showed you before. I added some videos here. As you can see, I have just three different clips of my room. And so what you're going to go do is go into network and make sure you have this sharing via Wi-Fi on. And then go into your computer and then type in that link that it has. 
and this will be different for everyone and then it changes really every time you open it so you're going to go there and you're going to search it and as you can see it already uploaded these different videos then you just click on it save it and then it'll save it full quality from chrome or edge or whatever browser you're using and it's it's really that simple, honestly. It's obviously not as simple as AirDrop or something like that, and I wish Windows would integrate something that makes it a little easier for file transfer between iPhone and PC, but this is the best for way I could find. And I found that it works with audio files too, if you're able to transfer that. I haven't tried it with like documents or anything, but photos, videos, and audio files, you should be completely fine. I hope that this was helpful. Again, some of those pictures you saw are going to be at 16views.com. 50% of the proceeds I make go to Feeding America. Everyone, stay safe. Uh, subscribe if you enjoyed content like this. Uh, I also do, I'm going to do like some reviews of technology, uh, photography tutorials, videography tutorials, stuff like that. But yeah, stay safe, everyone. See ya.